Let's get a, a couple of housekeeping items out of the way uh, first. Uh, for, for questions during today's uh, program, kindly use the chat in the, the GoToMeeting navigator. Please enter your name and question, and we will take and answer questions at the end, and we will hopefully uh, get to all of them, but at the very best, uh, we'll answer as many uh, as we can. Uh, so you know we are recording this demonstration. Uh, so for either future reference or publication on uh, either our YouTube channel or our website. So just be advised that we are uh, recording this demo and stay tuned until the end. We will offer you a reward. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to briefly discuss uh, a little bit of background on eHopper, why our online ordering solution some of the challenges we're facing today during the COVID-19 outbreak, how eHopper online ordering can help, we'll showcase some of our digital menu capabilities, ways to promote online ordering, uh, both in-store and online, and the aforementioned questions at the end. So a little bit of background on us, for those who may not be familiar with us. We are a cloud-based point-of-sale solution. We, uh, we, we have an integrated online ordering uh, platform. So over time, we've sort of evolved into a POS platform, right? a comprehensive sales platform to help enable you sell outside of regular store hours, to increase your market share, your outreach of people who may not have heard of you or be able to search for you and find you on Google. So that leads to visibility, have people who are looking for such and such type of restaurant or such and such type of boutique restaurant on Google. Since you have an online ordering site, you will show up and folks can come and visit, place orders with you, and off you go. So why specifically eHopper's online ordering solution? So the business value today, I don't need to be the one to share this news with you, but clearly online ordering is more important now than ever ever before, All right? Between contactless delivery, curbside pickup, reluctance for uh, the community at large to want to visit in stores, social distancing guidelines taking place in stores, okay? Being able to have sort of a second virtual store is more important now than ever. Another reason why our solution, integrating with your POS, is a good fit for your business is that it's a completely managed solution. We, our team, our delivery and services team will do the work. We will host your online ordering site, your digital menu. We will take care of all of the security components such as the SSL uh, certifications and the integrated secure payments online. There are no development costs on your behalf, just simply and strictly the monthly fee for the service. Anyone who has built an online site, a website, or even an online shopping cart can tell you uh, this can exceed uh, thousands and thousands of dollars. And we do the work for just the simple flat uh, monthly fee of the service. Another key important point of our solution is the speed of our delivery. So we can get an online ordering site up and running and live in less than a week. Obviously, this is pending merchant cooperation. Uh, and, and a couple of other factors as well. But uh, we have a book of business where we have got online ordering sites up and processing and ordering online in less than a week. So uh, obviously the speed of go-to market, very important and something that we can uh, we can exceedingly support. And last but not least, integrating this with your in-store POS, your back office integration and inventory controls, so that when orders come in online, you receive an alert in your POS. It exists in your order sheet uh, uh, in the front end of the POS, and it automatically pulls the inventory components out of the back office inventory. 
continued on, one of the newest things that we've added to our online ordering portfolio is the concept of digital menus, right? So what is going to be the state of reusable menus? And obviously this is geared towards our friends in the hospitality space uh, more so than the retail. But what are we going to do with reusable menus that we want to be able to that we once were able to uh, uh, place at a table, take it, wipe it down, reuse it somewhere else? Uh, uh, moving forward, you're either going to be at least in the near term or the medium long term with disposable menus or uh, placemats with with menus on them, sort of that like a, maybe like a northeastern diner. But what we have done is we have built a digital menu site that is uh, connected to your business's physical location via geolocation so that your patrons can experience a contactless or minimal contact dining experience. Those patrons can place their orders over their phone, use their phone to call over a server, they can pay from that device, and then at the end of their dining experience, they can provide you with their feedback, rate their experience with our feedback form. And the last but not least, why our eHopper online ordering solution? We have a lot of flexibility. We have a lot of options, themes, templates, plugins, uh, things that get creative, things that we, we, we didn't, that we don't even necessarily have um, a, a available in, in the back office or POS proper. But there's a lot of things that we can do in the form of plugins and integrations, all of which uh, are uh, at no added cost to our users. And finally, to contact us, you can visit our website at www.ehopper.com. You can visit our online ordering landing page at ehopper.com forward slash online dash ordering dash system forward slash. And yours truly, Matt Flaherty, you can reach my direct office line at area code 212-651-8911, extension 606. My mobile number, you can give me a call at area code 201-702. 1058 and my email address and flaherty at ehopper.com. And with that introduction out of the way, let's move over to the bones of our demonstration. Setting up an online store. How does it work? Right? So the eHopper online ordering solution is integrated to the front end of the POS and the back office inventory controls. And here I am in a sample uh, demonstration back office account here. We, the eHopper delivery team, would build your online site. And we can build your online site in one of two ways. We can build a standalone online ordering site, or if you have a pre-existing website, we can attach that online shopping cart to your existing website today. How does it integrate? How does it work? You would control it in much the same way that you would your front end POS, your back office, which is the brains or the central nervous system of your POS application, pushes out products to the front end of your POS, just like here, just like so. In the back office, you can push out your products to your online ordering site. So, all of these. Products, pictures, prices, modifications and modifiers, all are pushed out from your back office inventory and contains their own e-commerce tab, which you can check mark to include as part of your, your, your e-commerce or online ordering site. It's important to note that you can sell products in store and online, sell products exclusively online and not in store, or in store not online. This is a feature you can toggle uh, how you want your uh, different items uh, to be sold in in your online online ordering format. To push out your products to your online ordering site, you would just simply synchronize the system. You get five of those uh, in a day to do so manually. However, 
the system will automatically synchronize once every 24 hours. Let's take a look at some of the checkout options by selecting a product. If I click on this Air Pro X3 Aqua Shoe, we can push out the same picture that you're using in the front end of your, uh, of your POS store. That picture from the back office gets pushed out to the online ordering site as well as its price point. We can add a brief description to the item, which is also contained in your back office of your account. We can even add a section with related products or <coughs> pardon me, customers who bought this also bought that, a related product section. And if I go up and simply add it to my cart, it will populate into my shopping cart. Now when it's time for me to check out, I can either access my cart from the upper right hand corner of the site or view cart. And now I can scroll down. I can apply a coupon if I wish. I can update my cart, add more items to it, or proceed to checkout. Now, this is important, especially for those in the payment processing world. This is where we will integrate your virtual gateway to your merchant or as a merchant, your merchant account to your online ordering site. And then your customer would enter in his or her billing details, can assign whether the order can be for pickup or delivery. And then if for delivery, there can be an added section for a shipping or ship to address. And then you just proceed to checkout by entering in your card or billing information. If your customer is going to be paying in store, have selected pick up for pay in store. Obviously that order will transfer over to the front end of your POS as well. So now once your customer or you as the customer have placed the online order, what happens next? Two things happen primarily. Number one, an alert will appear in the front end of your POS that says online order in. You can tap that online order alert and in your shopping cart will populate all of the items that were ordered. I'm just going to quickly add. I was hoping that these were not modified or matrix products, but here we are. So the items will populate on over. The order or sale type will map and marry over as well, whether it was selected for pickup or, uh, or dine-in. And once you have the shopping cart queue populated, you can save the order, which will kick it and automatically fire it out to kitchen printers for, uh, uh, for the back of the house to start preparation of the food. Or if you're a retail boutique store, for you to begin kitting or, or, or populating, uh, filling up that, uh, that merchant's basket. Also what, what, what maps and transfers over as well are the customer's details. So eHopper POS supports a customer database. When a merchant places an order online and enters in his or her contact details, those map over as well. So the customer's name, address, phone number, if it's for delivery, will populate on over to the system as well. You can also retrieve any online orders from the orders section of your front end POS. So if we go to orders, which will bring up all of the orders available in our store, we can filter by order source and let's filter by online. And here, the front end of the POS will showcase all of the orders isolated by online ordering source. The second alert if you will, once an online order is placed, is that an email will be delivered to your merchant account, notifying you that an online order has been placed as well. And the order can take the form. Uh, 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 it, it, it's you know a, a couple of a couple of pages long, but it indicates to you that an online order has been placed. If for whatever reason you're not nearby uh, uh, your, your POS system or 
maybe you're away and want to call the guys back at the store, say, hey, guys, we got an online order in. Let's go take care of that. Uh, you will receive a, an email, uh, an email as well. And last but not least, in the back office, if you go to orders, you can also see if you're away from the store and you wanted to see and check out what's the current status of my online orders. Here we go. You can filter from your back office, from the seat of your couch as you're watching. The price is right in the morning, and you can see all of your online orders from your back office as well. Okay, so that's primarily the, the core function workflow of how the online ordering site is integrated to the back office, the front end of the POS. When an order is placed, what happens? And lastly, how you as the business owner or employee can be alerted to and view and showcase uh, those orders to prepare for fulfillment. The next topic that we're going to cover is the digital menu. Now you might recall we touched on this in the beginning portion of the presentation. I'm just going to format my screen a little bit smaller here because as with all of our online ordering sites, these are optimized for viewing on a mobile phone or device. Our digital menu program works in the following ways. As we alluded to earlier, it is geolocation sensitive. So you can't butt dial an online order from your couch if you're not in the store. When you're in the store, you can scan a QR code. And then this page, specifically dedicated to your store, will appear. And now your diners can experience a contactless or minimal contact dining experience, selecting their products, calling a waiter or, or uh, a waiter or waitress over for service, ordering more items. They can even tender out these or these items online from their phone. And if we go ahead and check out our basket, it will offer us the same in uh, uh, the same form for the billing details uh, of the person. You can enter in your credit or debit card, and you're off to the races. At the end, you can complete the feedback or rate us form. Help us improve our service with a happy smiley face, the yellow okay, the red not so good. We'll give us a green stars today. And your form has been submitted. We can also support using this, this digital menu ordering interface waitlisting, right? So if you uh, obviously a now uh, space or seating at a restaurant would be either limited or uh, mandated for distancing. You can select wait list and you can basically place your name and space to wait online. And at which point uh, the host or hostess can introduce him or herself, call you up by name and go bring you on over to your table. So this is also something uh, that is uh, available. This is a really neat feature. Uh, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with it. In fact, uh, we have recently uh, experienced uh, some new merchant signups, not even bothering with the in-store POS, uh, uh, signing up exclusively for online ordering as folks wait online or in advance of arriving to your store location, place their order online, you begin the fulfillment, they either pay with their card from their phone, or if they set up for pickup, they just hand over hand over the cash. So some have even been using this exclusively, uh, this online ordering digital menu service as their uh, as their in store uh, in store POS. So it's really a tremendous opportunity, uh, and we're really excited to do what we can to help out uh, in the marketplace today, given what uh, what we're all collectively experiencing. So. With that, that pretty much rounds out the core elements of the, the showcase of the program, how orders come in, what the sites look like, uh, and so on. Now I will go into the chat, take a look at some of the questions, and see if we can 
tackle some of these bad boys one on one. I'm going to try to start from the top. So, Robin, yes, we can send you a copy of the webinar and the PowerPoint presentation uh, for your training uh, for, for your agents and your sales team. Lisa would like to know, can customers select a time for picking up an order? So this is not necessarily something that is native uh, to our platform. However, a good rule of thumb, and this goes for pretty much uh, all of our online ordering and speaks to the flexibility of the solution. If there is a plugin available for it, we can apply it. Okay, so if there is a plugin for it, so uh, it, it may it may need to operate as standalone, but like I said, if there is a plugin that can accommodate it, uh, that that could be something uh, that we can uh, that we can add uh, to your site. So uh, looks like Lou or Laurel would like to know: Does this site integrate with a point terminal, and does eHopper support merchants in Puerto Rico? The answer is yes to both. So if you are a merchant using a point terminal device, the online ordering site would map and marry to your eHopper account on that point device the very same way that it would on any other ordinary device. And yes, we do support merchants in, in Puerto Rico. We have uh, quite a number, in fact. And um, yeah, we would, love, uh, we would love to have you or anyone else in Puerto Rico involved. John would like to know, can a customer save card information for easy access for future purchases? Great question. And there's two branches of this that, 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 I, want to, that I want to address here. Uh, POS side and online ordering side. Okay. On the POS side, the answer is no. The eHopper POS will not save the credit card information for future purchase access. However, you can have your uh, have your card information stored or your billing uh, billing information stored uh, by auto populating the form fields by using the online ordering site. So it can be cached, if you will, on the online ordering site, but it will that that payment information will not necessarily map over for future storage to your customer profile, as an example, on the front end of the POS. Kevin would like to know if. I would like to print order to print on my kitchen printer. He uses a point and purchased the hopper. I've been told this is not possible. Uh, da, 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 and adding a tip feature to check out, but I've not added a response. So uh, I will tackle your question in two parts. Ordering and printing to a kitchen printer. Directly, the answer is no. However, uh, there, there have been a couple of solution workarounds to enabling auto printing uh, to, to, a, uh, to, to a printer. For example, you can set up an e-printer and assign another email address to receive the automatic notification alert. The alert goes to that email address that's tied to the e-printer, and you can set a rule when that email domain receives an email to automatically print to the uh, to the e-printer that you have set up. So now an order comes in, it can automatically print to a printer, and now you have the, the order right there. Otherwise, outside of that solution, no, it will not automatically print. It will print after you acknowledge by tapping on the uh, order alert on the front end of the POS and saving the order. Uh, uh, because at that point, the, the, the POS workflow kicks in and automatically kicks it out to the back of the house printers. For tips, the answer is yes, we can support tips to the front end of the online ordering website. Again, that's a, uh, a line item or a plugin that we can apply. Uh, I haven't seen this question yet, but I'll address it since it's kind of within the same context as adding a tip in the online ordering site, is surcharging. So we do not support cash discounting with online ordering, but we can support surcharging with the form of a plugin. And we can uh, we can map and marry your surcharge program to an online ordering site. Tips can as well to thoroughly answer your question, round it off. Yes, we can add a line item to add a tip to an online order. 
And Lisa would also like to know, we had mentioned shipping. What does that look like? Does eHopper integrate with FedEx? Great question. Shipping, not really so much shipping and logistics like, uh, like UPS or FedEx or the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, it, this is really uh, uh, built and geared towards uh, deliveries like delivery drivers where a deliver, uh, an order would come in that's set up for delivery. The delivery driver takes, prints out the ticket with the customer's name and address, and then uh, uh, you know takes the order and, and drops it off at the customer's location. One thing you can set up that is unique from the front end of the POS is that you can actually set up a radius by zip code or by county or whatever uh, to, to allow or disallow the delivery orders to be placed online. So you can set up a slew of zip codes that you allow deliveries to go to and anything outside of those named zip codes will not be supported for delivery. But however, as far as direct integration with logistics companies like FedEx and UPS, uh, that is not quite there yet. However, if there is a plug-in for it, we'd be happy to test it and see if we can make it work. Ah, Tony would like to know, how does a merchant know what table the customer is sitting at? I assume that this is in uh, relation to the online uh, digital, digital menu ordering site. So what we can do is we can build a line item. So in the customer order field, let me go back on over to it. We can create a line item that can acknowledge what table number you are sitting at or depending upon how you name or identify your tables in your restaurant. Uh, you know, some uh, one bar I was, I was working with identified all their bar stools by cards in a deck, the ace of spades and, and all the way on down. So when we check out here for the billing details, we can add a field that says table number. So that can absolutely be accommodated and built upon request. How does the customer tip server? Same thing, we can add a tip line item to the your order uh, cart page here along the payment gateway. So we can just add a second uh, or an additional field to input a, a manual tip prior to selecting place order. And it looks like the waiting for name is, I do we link with other, any other APIs? Uh, so I don't, such as delivery direct or check me. Okay, so these are, this is in relation to uh, other third party online ordering sites like Deliver Direct, Checkmate. Uh, I'll even go so far as to add Grubhub, Seamless, Delivery.com, Caviar, and so on uh, 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 to, to this question. So the answer is no, we do not currently integrate with any of those third-party uh, delivery services. But one Im real important thing that I really that I want to stress here, and this adds to the value of having your own online ordering site. Instead of paying the, the, the 27 or 30% uplift uh, as, a, as a commission or service fee or whatever that those services bill. If you drive traffic to your own website, two things happen. Number one, you increase your, your, your profits. And secondly, you're keeping your customer or prospective customer off of visibility to your competitors. So by driving traffic to your own online ordering site, you have them on your site and your site only. Their eyes are only looking at you. And you may even want to throw in an incentive for ordering on your own online ordering shopping cart, maybe a 10% off for ordering with us direct. Another great idea that one of our merchants who's using is that on their receipt, whenever they received an order from Uber Eats, Grubhub, and the like, at the bottom of the receipt, they would say, hey, please order from our website with their containing their URL and receive a 10% discount. So Maybe customer, uh, maybe the customer of a merchant found them on Uber Eats, Grubhub, or Seamless, placed an order with them, and then on the receipt that they received when the delivery or the pickup took place, at the bottom they can see, hey, for a 10% discount, order with our site directly here. So kind of trying to shift, uh, shift their thinking or their frame of mind to coming to you directly uh, as opposed to one of those third-party sites. But that is a great question. 
uh, waiting for name, whomever you are out there. Thank you very much for that. That was great. Uh, Nina would like to know, how do I remove the taxes paid by the customers? Your business resides in Germany and the price is shown include the price and tax. Currently I have e-commerce, but it still shows the tax that needs to be paid by the customer. How do I get this removed? So uh, within the context of online ordering for uh, Europe specifically, VAT taxes, VAT taxes tend to be built in to the baked into the price and cost of the item. In the eHopper back office on the inventory control side, let me just move this navigator here to get over to it. In the back office, you can add sorry, products. Every you can bake in all taxes or special or unique taxes to any specific product. Uh, one example here in the United States is uh, 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 convenience stores or places of business that sell alcohol products or tobacco products as well as chips, sodas, drinks, and so on. So as to not apply an alcohol tax to uh, chip, soda, and candy, we can at the product level bake in a tax to an item and then that cost or that price with the baked in tax can be pushed out uh, to your online ordering site. So specifically, yeah, not sure what the, uh, um, the, the, the core bones or details uh, of your issue exist out from there, but the principle behind it is taxes are built into the product. When you push out your product to the online ordering site, those taxes should map and marry over, be baked in, and then we can just remove the line item that adds any additional taxes to it. And we have a little bit of time for a few more questions. Ricardo would like to know, in case of an order error, can a customer communicate with the establishment to adjust the order via chat or text? So let's talk about an example where a delivery driver gets to a site and the order is wrong, needs to amend the, the item or the order, or the customer calls in and wants to make a last minute change after they had already placed the order. One unique thing that you can do is that you can edit, you can start orders online and you can finish them or edit them on the in-store POS. So if you ever get caught in a situation, whether you're a customer of a merchant or an employee of a merchant that needs to adjust, amend, or edit an order, you can simply go to the order in question from the orders page, filter to online ordering source, find the order, retrieve that order, and now you can take items off the bill, add more items to it, make the adjustment, and resave the order. Great question, Ricardo. Thank you very much for that. Christopher would like to know if we can support bulk item sales where customers select various items to make up a bag and then pay for the weight of a total. For example, bulk candy. So Christopher, this is another good question and uh, one that I'm going to, uh, it's going to need a couple of different uh, parts to the answer. So uh, what you, in this specific use case, you're talking about kidding and kidding can kind of be uh, very similar to order preparation in the back of a manufacturing warehouse or factory, right? So a customer would place their items. They can, we can add a field where they can input the quantity by weight. So work with me here. If we place an order, if we select the product and we want to select more than one product to compose a bag or a box, we can add a custom field to enter in a value by unit of measure. And then since we would have in the front end or back office of the POS, a unit of measure by dollars and cents, when they add items one, two, three, and four with all of their corresponding weights, those would map back to the front end of the POS. So you would see items one, two, three, four, five in the shopping cart, in the weight that the customer placed the order online, it will automatically do the calculation of weight to a total price value. You would save the order, and then you and your team can go about filling up the bag with the different candy components by the specific weights.
to make their order, tie it up with a bow, and uh, for pickup and send out for delivery. So uh, great question for uh, to handle how our system can treat bulk items or uh, kitting purposes. And I'll take, I think I have time for one more question here. If I don't get to your question, uh, uh, do please feel free to uh, send me an email directly. I'd be happy to uh, either speak with you over the phone or uh, email you a response one-on-one uh, -on -one here. Uh, but Mr. Quick E would like to know, does a customer get a notification once an employee or cook clicks, prints, or saves an online order? How does that work? Can you communicate with the customer in case it's really busy and the order may take longer than usual? So it sounds like what you are asking is, does the customer get a notification once an employee selects uh, or, or prints out or begins fulfillment uh, of the online order? The answer is no, the, the, we, we do not have that feature supported yet. I'm, I'm thinking uh, of like the Domino's uh, pizza application, right? You place an order and it gives you that bar of where they are in the stage of, of fulfilling and populating uh, that order. So we're not quite there yet. Uh, uh, however, we can create a workflow that a depending upon the customer's email that we can send them an email alerting them or an SMS text message alerting them that it, uh, an order is either ready or on the way for delivery. That is something uh, that we uh, that we have built and can support. And in case it's really busy, an order might take longer than usual. Yeah. So there is. Um, it's not. Um, I would not say or describe it as seamless or automated within the POS. Uh, but uh, uh, we can we, we can build an SMS or a notification feature to alert them if it's taking longer or on its way. But it's not quite to the level of thoroughness of the fulfillment stage along from from left to right. OK, and uh, with that, I will say thank you very much, everyone, for joining today. Like I said, if I did not get to your question, I would be happy uh, to do so. One-on-one uh, -on -one here together, and uh, with that, what is your uh, what is your uh, special special surprise, your reward for joining us today? Uh, you may and can receive an additional three months of your online ordering solution uh, uh, for free. So, uh, for those of you who know or don't know, uh, we are offering our online ordering solution free for three months. If you have already taken advantage of that and you joined our webinar today, we will give you an additional three, three months free. And even if you have yet to sign up and are looking to move forward with us in the future, we'll tack on another uh, three months free uh, to the back end of that. So um, thank you again for, for joining us, everyone. Thank you for your great questions. Really appreciate your attentiveness. And we look forward to uh, talking with you and working with you in the future. Be well, everyone. Stay safe out there.